So today we have an intro chemistry lecture and what we're going to do is just first off we're going to talk about um, you know what exactly um, is in a, is in the atom is in the nucleus and the surrounding. So in the nucleus we have protons and we also have neutrons. And in the surrounding cloud we have um, electrons, okay? Um, and so what are protons and neutrons? Well, we pretty much can define protons and neutrons by their charge and their mass. Um, so protons have a charge of plus one, neutrons have a charge of zero, and electrons have a charge of negative one. Um, and these are just approximations, but proton mass is one, neutrons is also one, and electrons, we can say, is approximately zero. So that's really all we, we need to know about um, how to define each of them because that's all that's important to us. We don't need to get into too much detail. So the next thing we're going to be talking about um, is just basic definitions on atomic number, mass number, and atomic weight. Um, so atomic number is the number of protons. Um, so a number of protons uh, will give you the actual molecule. So for example, carbon has six protons, which defines it as carbon. All right? Mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Um, so we can say A equals Z plus N. All right? N we just say is the number of neutrons and A is this total mass number. Um, so for example, if we had something like this, let's say carbon, um, has, like we said, um, um, atomic number of 6, and its mass number is 12. And so now if they wanted to ask us, say all they gave was this, um, and they want you to find what's the number of neutrons? Well, we just go back to this equation and do simple subtraction. So we can find that there's 6 um, neutrons and there's 6 protons. And from this we can also tell one more thing. Um, there always will be the same number as protons as electrons, unless it's charged. So in this case we had zero charge. Carbon, we didn't say it's plus one, negative one, or we just said it was zero. So then we know there has to be six protons and six electrons just because we remembered um, that a proton has a positive one charge and an electron has a minus one charge. So atomic weight uh, is the average mass of all isotopes. And so for example, you don't just have carbon 12. You have carbon 11, you have carbon 10, you have carbon 14. You have a lot of these but you only have um, certain ones in excess or a greater proportion. The rest maybe say there's 1% of this, there's 0.01% of that, um, and there's 2% of that. Those are just numbers that I threw out there and we just average all these up and we find the atomic weight based on the percentages and based on the actual weight itself. Um, An atomic weight for us, we can just say atomic weight um, it's pretty much equal to the mass number. Um, we don't have to worry about that too much. We can just assume they're going to be the same. So let's have this example right here. So we have the number of protons and neutrons um, in fluoro fluorine minus. So fluorine minus means it has a negative one charge. Um, so if we look on our periodic table, uh, we see that fluorine has nine protons. Fluorine always has 9 protons, um, and we also know that there's 10 neutrons. Okay? 10 neutrons just because there's a mass number of 19 if we look on our periodic table, and we just assume that they didn't give us a mass number, we assume that it's just going to be the average. It's going to be the average atomic weight, and we're just going to say it's 19. Okay? Um, and then now we need to find the number of electrons. So we know that protons have a charge of plus 1, and electrons have a charge of minus one, right? And we know that the total charge is minus one, right? So the number of protons we have is nine plus one times plus one plus electrons times minus one. So we have 10 electrons, all right? That should make pretty good sense. I mean, uh, you know that electrons have a minus one charge and if it's negative, that means you know that there has to be more electrons than protons. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.